So I'm going to work on making the chuck adapter um, fit the indexing head that I got. Um, right now this is too long um, and the threads are wrong on the inside so I'm going to get this zeroed in. Zero. So I'm looking for about an inch overall depth here, or overall thickness. Um, so your angle is wrong to see it right, but that's like an inch and three-eighths plus. So I've got a ways to go. So I need to look up what size I need to bore that thing through. So I use my handy machinery's handbook. Let's go to the threading section. Let's see. Um, coarse threads, 1844, page 1844, and for inch and a quarter, seven interior threads. Diameter one should be. 0.974. Here we come. So I need to go about a hundred thousandths more. So that will be actually 50 on my dial. So if I go back around to the zero, so here, so it's 10. One point zero four six. So I'm working on my test piece for the internal threads to fit on the uh, dividing head. If things look crooked, it's because they are the threads here, or the threads on the dividing head are crooked. Um, so I'm making the interior threads theoretically match the other ones. So we'll see how well it turns out. Um, Since my lathe does not have a threading dial, I just have to reverse it. So now it's time to check the fit. I'm going to take the, um, have the dividing head removed from the base so it's going to be easier to turn. Let's see. That thread's in nice. Not a lot of wiggle in the threads. I was expecting actually it not to fit yet. So, anyways, seems to work. So 
So I'm going to try that with the <clears throat> with the chuck backing plate and hopefully the tool I made will cut the cast iron. So now the moment of truth to see if my homemade threading bit will cut the cast iron. Should that cast iron is pretty soft, but I don't know for sure. Just realized this is deeper, thicker than my test piece, so my angled boring bar is going to cause me some troubles. Um, but thankfully, we need to do the relief. Well, it's working. A little bit time consuming, but I'm trying to take really light cuts. Because um, like I said, this is a homemade tool. It's made out of a piece of tether tine, which is high carbon spring steel. And I machined it square and bent it around. So I got the threads done, now I'm going to face this off and get it to fit the, uh, fit the chuck. So now it mounts on to the dividing head. So. Oh, well, that seems like it's a pretty good fit to me. So, well, there we go. The chuck is all mounted. So, it should be set to go, ready to try it out. Um, hopefully, I got this all machined accurately enough. Um, I would have liked to do everything from this side so it could mount it up better, but you couldn't because of the way I wanted to check the threads and got complicated because these threads are one directional because those um, the teeth aren't angled the same on both sides so it's a probably a mistake when somebody first made it but they're directional so this will only thread on one way so if I wanted to check it in the lathe I had to thread from this side and if I thread it from that side, then I couldn't face this side. So this is it is what it is. Um, and when I get it to the mill, I'll be able to mount it down and see how how well I did. It it should be close enough. <laughs>